I'm here at Discovery's beautiful compound. It's uh, right here in Santon, and I'm sitting with a world record holder, an Olympic record holder, essentially a national treasure of South Africa, Wade van Niekerk, the one and only. And it's an absolute pleasure to be with the man. Wade, thank you so much. Uh, this will be out on Sports Talk on 702 and Cape Talk. Thank you so much for joining me and for allowing this opportunity. Of course, let's get the, the business out of the way. Uh, Vitality is launching this running World Cup. Tell me about it. Well, um, it's, it's an opportunity for us as a country to get together and uh, compete against the rest of the world. Um, listening to everyone chatting and so on, it's a very exciting concept to say that I've entered a World Cup. And um, here we have an opportunity as a country to unite and uh, perform and, and, and win, win this uh, running World Cup. And I'm, I'm very competitive so, and, and very excited to be able to say, hey, me and my country are standing together and we're we are about to uh, dominate this running World Cup. We, we're looking at you to win this for us, Wade, because <laughs> rightfully so, you're competitive. Uh, you are, you are a, a world record holder and the beautiful thing is you get to run against everybody and anybody. What does that mean for you? Yeah, like I, like I, I mentioned quite a, uh, earlier as well, um, who, why not go out there and beat the English again, the yeah. way the Springboks did? <laughs> And who wouldn't want to say that we just beat Bolt on a run? So, uh, as a country, we have this opportunity and let's not let it slip. So, how do we get involved with this? Well, um, it's quite simple, just going on to the website, the Running World Cup website, uh, and uh, enter. It's free. So, being able to, to enter as a country and then um, reach the, 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 the targets that set out for us. I like the fact that you mentioned, let's beat Bolt. <laughs> That is something that I'm, I'm sure you, you looked at, uh, you know, as soon as Bolt broke onto the world stage, you were like, I want to beat that guy. What did it mean for you to, to just line up alongside uh, such a special athlete? Yeah, I mean, as especially running World Cup content, um, since the day I've, 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 in, I've started doing well in track and field, from the main questions has been about Bolt. And uh, this hype has been created for a long time now, and here we get to do it as a country, so it's quite cool. But as a as an athlete, as a person, and as a individual, I respect him so much for what he's done for the sports. And um, as a friend, I, I appreciate him, and uh, it's it's really been an inspiring journey for myself. And I enjoy uh, being able to uh, feed off of what he's what he's left, is the legacy he's left behind, and um, hopefully create my own. I mean, we, we talk about Usain Bolt and we can talk about Wade for Nikark in the same breath because you've already created a legacy of your own and, and of course you still have time to build on that, uh, whereas he's done. Um, but let's start off with where your legacy started. Here's a young Wade for Nikark, he's in Greifontein in Cape Town uh, and, and for him he realizes, I'm actually pretty fast. When did that, when did that even come about? Yeah, I think um, I've always been interested in, in all sorts of sports but track somewhat was uh, was always one of the 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 more highlights in in my in my fundamental or growing up stages in in life and uh then realizing that i'm actually starting to win and beat people but i think uh the changing or the 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 moment where where i committed to track and field was probably around about 2010 uh not much training not much uh experience in the sports just raw have the opportunity to represent the country extreme, extremely excited for that and then i got a uh, fourth place in the world so um from that day onwards i thought okay i'll be committing to track and then making it my my everything you know the thing with being uh, in a, a sporting code is that you always coached there must have been someone at some stage you said boy you have something really really special and, and somebody who, who ignited that flame for you yeah, I think uh, my family probably played a big role in that uh, because it came so natural to all of them, it came natural to me, so it was just part of our lifestyle since day one. Who's faster between you and Cheslin and when did you guys realize uh, and, and when was who faster, so if Cheslin was ever faster than you? The times we raced I won, but I think I can step better than him though. You think you can step better than him? <laughs> I would pay a pretty dime to see that. Uh, but you guys did play uh, uh, t uh, rugby together for quite some time, so that must have been quite something. Uh, what positions did you guys play? Um, we didn't get to play in the same team yet, but we were in the same school, same environment, uh, playing on the streets and so on, we played together obviously. Um, but I was similar positions actually, fullback, wing, so they always picked you guys on opposite teams because it was unfair, I'm assuming. Uh. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, it, it, it was, it was uh, we, we didn't get to, we were still young that time, so it was just about playing rugby. Yeah. So 2010 happens, your main discipline is 200 meters at that time, exactly. in 2010, and then uh, about two, three years later, 400 meters happens and yeah. you're a sensation in that. When did you realize that you should rather make that switch? <laughs> I'm still trying to realize that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, it's, it's, it's the moment I, I tried it out, I just started growing as an athlete. So you can't really run away from that, uh, especially when you're seeing growth and uh, winning medals, breaking records. You can't fight the system anymore. So I've, I've made peace with it. I've accepted it, but I still have so much more goals with all other events that I'm doing as well. Absolutely, and I mean, it will never end here for you. Uh, I, I want to find out, you know, you, obviously there's a lot that happens during a, a, an athletics meeting. Are there any other athletic sporting codes that you look at and you say, I might not ever be able to do it, but geez, I'd really like to try that. Yeah. Pole vault or something like that? Never pole vault, no. No, that's, that's, a bit, that's a bit risky. Uh, but I enjoy, I enjoy watching the long jumps. Uh, what else is there? The sprinting has always been a, 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 a desire of mine. I love the speed and the max space of of uh, track and field. But luckily, that's in my in my in my profession or where I want to be. Uh, maybe even quick short day distances. So maybe indoors, a few indoor meetings in the future. We'll see how it goes. I would like to see you doing that. Uh, are you never scared of just running through that wall that's supposed to stop no, you though in indoors? I love the speed of it. Uh, that's no. why I do the sport. And also the contact. I mean, you're a rugby player, so I suppose <laughs> that is as close as you can get to it. Yeah. It was way back, but um, it's just that competitiveness of the, of the, of the, of being a, a, a sportsman just fuels me.